Hi, I was doing the clean up out at Morford. Morford, what do you call it? Morissett way. And I found this book, and it's the book of Sunday at Home. It's like a sort of um, magazine book. So it's sort of like a book for advertising. But um, interesting is, I haven't seen many online. It's in the 18th century, but um, there's a lady in it. Let me see there. Miss something out of Brown. She came from England in 1848, I think it is there. Born on the 18th of June, 1848. So she came from England to Australia. Ellen Brown, 1948. So June, 13th of June, 1848. Ellen Brown was a natural thingy. Kent, England, was born in 1849 and died at West Mance on Sunday, February 1902. In the 48th year of her age, under the... Right, so she came from England to Australia and brought this book with her. And... Um, she was from Kent in England. So she came to Australia and then she went to, I think, Sing Singleton uh, Church up there. It was a, um, if you go out towards Singleton, I think it's, there's a church there, a monastery or something, church thing. She was staying, working there. Um, the church of First born, written in heaven. She was especially uh, something about, I don't know, I can't read very good. Read it because it's hard. Such is. Um, she was at Singleton, I know that. It says something in here about she was working. There's a little quote at the top there. Um, she was at Singleton. Um, church and then she died in Australia I think or she died back overseas but there's a history of her this is from 1848 so um, it's a, a book family magazine with Sebastian Pacing I think it is 1891-92 so she must have bought the book in 1891 and then brought it over to Australia, or bought it in Australia in that time. So, sort of a bit about it. It's sort of Tom. Um, some really interesting things. It was, if you really like to read something from 18th century, Jesus and some lady, Mary, I think, is it? So there, Mary and. I can't read it upside down. So if you're religious and you really want a religious book uh, for the masses use. So it's a really interesting book. So I don't know, it's really old. It's like a magazine, like you know we get magazines and po things, so very history of England. So I looked on the net and I cannot find I've only found one and that was in England Museum. So Interesting. Yeah, Sunday at home. Tom and Hats on Sex. It's a really interesting book to read. Um, some really nice writing in it. Well, I don't know if it's going to pick it up. There you go. So if you know anyone's interested in buying it, I don't know if it would be worth it. It's Quite rare, and it's bad shape. Could do a book restore. Sunday at home. Sunday stories. There was some more info written inside. I think it was in the back. Right up. Hanging on by its. It's been around the bloody world. This thing. It's falling apart. There's more history about her at the back. Miss L's 
and price. So somebody whose last name's Price in Australia might think it's a family thing. Uh, Miss Price always took a keen tolerance in church, where she made a wide circle of friends. She lived to Cessnock for ten years, and prior to that has been a resident of Wall's End for close to a quarter of a century. She is survived by two sons and two daughters, named George, Sonny, Fries, Mrs. Eves, and York, and Miss, Miss J. Bucker, Land, and Charlie Brown, Price. Not Charlie Brown. The funeral left, left her in presence. 19 Kubong Street on Monday afternoon. Now it tells you history when she was born and when she died. And she was a, a martyr, a priest, um, what do you call them? Lady of the cloth, lady, church lady. Some more history about her. So it could be interesting, somebody that lives at War's End or something. It says there, um, a bit more about her. Um, born 1896, there's somebody else in it. Um, tell me about a marriage and stuff like that. So, I could find somebody that lives at Wars End with Price for their last name. Uh, little Jane Price, born the 2nd of September 1925. So, if she's still alive, she'd be at least 85, 90 years old. If she's still alive. So there's a little bits and pieces all through the book about this lady. So that's a church book. Uh, it's sort of English magazine verse. The whole thing's falling apart. Sure. Okay. But they're very rare to find. So there you go. Very rare, 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 rare book. And a really nice history of some lady who came from England and worked at Cessnock in the church. And lived at Wall's End. So there you go. Might be something interesting for somebody who wants to read about England. So it's got 1892 on the book. So it's quite an old book, 170 years old. So it's heritage. So it's 100 years, isn't it? I don't know, books. You know, books go to heritage when they're over 100 years. Hmm, so there you go. So if anyone's interested or know someone wants to buy it or wants to know about the lady inside, give gives a yell and I'll send a post it to you if you want to read it. Or if you come to the church, just gives a yell and I'll bring it in and you can have a read. It's really interesting about this lady who come from England. Mum might like it, I don't know. She knows about England. And all the stuff in the book is all about England and stories about England and things like that, so... I did show Mum, but she wasn't interested much. But she might be. Hmm. All right. Thanks for watching. So if you know anybody that's interested in buying it, I don't know how much it's going to would sell for. I might take it into the Reese's Bookshop or the one at the Junction. There's a bookshop there. They might tell me what it's worth. Might be worth ten dollars. Might be worth ten thousand. I have no idea. I wish it was worth ten thousand dollars. Be cheering, wouldn't I? Well. It's only one I can find. There's only two copies. I found one copy in England, and that was in the museum. So there's many left around at this time. After 100, and, was it 92? So that'd be 100. And, got brain going slow. 117, 125 years old. There you go. A book 125 years old. History of England and the history of a lady that came from England to Australia. <coughs> so if you like history, it might be really interesting for you to read. Thanks. Bye.